So it sounds like something straight out of science fiction. Swarms of unmanned aircraft flying grid patterns at night over large areas of territory. Hey everyone, Jason Schaffert here of Remote Pilot 101 here with another SUAS update. If you follow drone news, you had to have heard about these mysterious swarms of drones that uh, civilians and law enforcement have witnessed in Colorado and Nebraska and really surrounding states now as well. So what's going on here? Well, we don't really know. What we do know is that people are seeing drones in the evenings between 7 to 10 p.m. They appear to have a six-foot wingspan, and they're flying in groups, as many as 19 at a time, according to witnesses. Colorado police say that they are continuing to investigate as no operator has been identified. If you have theories, please share them in the comments. I want to read those as well. Authorities have asked witnesses to keep an eye out for a mobile operations vehicle, probably a truck or a van equipped with multiple antenna to uh, see. You know, their, their speculation is that the drones are part of military testing, which the Air Force is neither confirming nor denying. Air Force Global Strike Command has confirmed that it conducts counter drone exercises and they do oversee uh, underground Minuteman silos spread across Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska, where the drones have been spotted nightly for the past few weeks. The Air Force isn't claiming ownership of the drones, but they aren't quite denying it just either. As we talked about in a previous video, the FAA is actually considering the new rules requiring drones to emit and identify in frequency, which we're calling remote ID. Uh, according to the FAA, remote ID would assist the FAA in law enforcement and federal security agencies uh, when UAS appear to be flying in an unsafe manner or drones are not allowed to fly. The FAA is accepting your comments on this, by the way, until March 2nd with remote ID in place. The mysterious drones flying over Nebraska and Colorado, well, it would solve itself in a way. If you have thoughts or comments about remote ID, please share them in the comments below this video as well on Facebook, on YouTube, on RemotePilot101.com. I want to hear your theories about these mystery drones as well, and I'll see you in a future update. We'll see you. Remote Pilot 101 is the most successful Part 107 test prep course on the market with over 18,000 tests passed. It's one price and you get our updated initial and brand new recurrent course for life. It's two courses for the price of one and it's for life. See the actual test questions, learn the material, take the practice quizzes all at your own pace through our easy videos you've already grown to love. Visit RemotePilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.